So after the alignment's been made, what we want to do next is to create a profile underneath it. Okay, so we want to create the profile next. So we want to create this grid down here with the elevations and the stations um, that show um, how the uh, road grades as it goes across that alignment. All right, so let's have a look. All right, so there's our alignment. We're pretty much good to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an original ground, as they call it, uh, profile. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Home tab and we're gonna find Profile and pull that down. And we're going to create a surface profile. Okay, so that's what we want to, uh, to do. So we'll pick that and we'll get a dialog box. Now, we have to pay a little bit of attention to this. We've got the alignment here. That would be the road you're gonna to use to create the profile. It has the start and end stations. Then it has what you want to sample, what you actually want to make an alignment out of. We're gonna make an alignment out of the entire road though you don't have to. You could change the stations you might want to use here. Uh, generally speaking, I do use the full length of the alignment to make, to make the uh, profile down below. Okay, now it wants to know what surface you want to use to make the profile. I'm going to use the Topo 1 surface, so I will add that. Okay. And then I'll just hit OK. All right, and I get something called an event viewer up here. That just tells me that I made a profile. It just tells me what happened, and I can hit that green check to acknowledge that I've, I've read that and I know what happened, okay? Okay, now we can draw in the, uh, the profile. So what we're going to do is we're going to go home, and then we're there and then we're going to look at profile view will be the next thing that we're going to do and that's right here okay and we want to create a profile view okay all right now we get something that's pretty similar to what we had before but we get the select alignment and that's topo one profile view name i would just call it topo one again again i would name that after my road and then we have the styles we can use to create this view. Now, the one that I like to use is the LAN Desktop Profile View. LAN Desktop comes from an old, uh, oh, an old program that was used before Civil 3D called LAN Development Desktop. And that's the, the, the profile style that works best for me. So I'm going to pick that. All right. And then what we do is start walking through the steps. So I'm going to go next. So what I've done here, I've got the alignment. I've got the um, profile view name, and I've got the profile view style, okay? And I'm going to go next. And it's going to have the station range, okay? I use automatic here, okay? Um, and I want to create a profile along the entire length of the road, so that's what automatic is going to do. Once again, you could, you could shorten that up if you wanted by, by the user specified range, but I'm going to do the entire view. All right, then it's going to come up with the profile view height. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to want to specify that because this is just going to go to the bottom of the profile to the top, and that's going to be a little irregular. Typically when I do these, I want a little extra room under my profile so I can draw in things like pipes, uh, you know, water, sewer, storm drain, stuff like that. So I'm going to have to think ahead a little bit on that. All right, and I'm going to take that down maybe... Oh, I don't know. In this case, I'll take it down to about, about 370, okay? And then the maximum at 442, that should probably be okay for what I want to do. Now, when you're doing this for a lab, have a look at how the lab handout is. Put the minimum down at the lowest elevation on the lab profile, uh, for, the lab, for the profile on the lab handout, and the maximum for the maximum on the handout. Have a look at that and set these values to match. Be sure they do match. That's important that you um, that um, that we get those to work. Okay. 
Now this box, we want to turn that off, okay? So we want to um, to be sure that uh, we get that turned off. I think that's important, okay? And then we're going to hit Next. All right, and we're going to get into the options. Now this allows us to clip and break our profile. Um, we'll just accept the defaults on this, okay? For a single sheet, we can just accept the defaults. And then we get into the bands we're going to put on here. Okay, now generally speaking, for us, I'll just put stations only. When you what the bands are is the data that you put on your profile. We're going to keep it simple and go stations only. As you add more and more data, it takes up more and more room on your profile. So I just keep it simple for what we're going to do there. All right, and then that'll go on the bottom of the profile view. And we can hit next and this wants to uh, hatch some of the stuff on the profile we, we don't really want to do that so now we can create the profile view all right and it's going to want us to pick it's generally the lower left hand corner of the profile view so pan anywhere you've got space we're going to use paper space to kind of connect all these views together so i can go ahead and click and there's the profile view right there okay and you can see I've got that uh, a little bit uh, overscaled there um, but those are things that can be fixed but what I have here now is a drawing that shows this pro the profile of the road as you walk down the center line All right now, as you might have noticed there, this uh, profile grid is a bit uh, a bit tall, shall we say? So we can go ahead and fix that. Okay, so to fix it, you click the grid. So grip edits, right click, and go profile view. Um, not properties, my bad. Let's try that again. Right click profile view style. Okay, edit profile view style there. All right, now if you go to the graph, the scale is specified there. Okay, I might want to set that down a good bit just because I don't want that vertical scale to be so high. Currently it's set at one inch to six feet, which makes it very, very tall, and that's too tall. So let's set that down a bit to 20. All right, and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and apply that, and you can see that shrinks down to a more manageable size. Okay, so you can get into that style and play with it and make it work for whatever it is you want to do. I think we'll stick with 1 to 20 there, okay? All right, so there's a uh, the uh, existing ground profile there, original ground profile, as they say. All right, so that's the start on getting that drawn. All right, now this thing, this little thing here can kind of get in the way. This where it says datum elevation. This comes in um, to the this land development style, all right? So that gets to be a little bit, uh, uh, it kind of sticks out there, it's in the way. So notice the layer on that C road profile view. So with this land development style, what I do, I go into C road profile view and I just freeze that layer and that'll go off. That's the only thing on that layer, so that's no problem there, okay? So here I am, C Road Profile View, and I'll freeze that. Nope. Let's try that again. It's C Road Profile Title. I can see the colors match, so that's my bad there. It's C Road Profile Title. There we go. There we go. So that's what I wanted to do. All right, now the other thing I notice here is that um, these elevations are so tight that they're running into one another. I don't think I need to label this thing every two feet. It just creates too much clutter. Maybe every 10 would work better on this. So what I'll do here is I'll pick the profile. Again, I'll go into the style. I'll go into the vertical axes and the major tick details are every two feet. Maybe I'll get that set up to 10. All right, and then I'll apply that and see there, that's a little bit more manageable. Okay, so these are some of the options you can play with to, to get your profile to look 
in a reasonable sort of way.